Welcome to the Nickel guys, it's your host, the Night Rancher. Now today we're going to be installing the Daytona Sensors WeGo Series 3 Wideband 02 sensor gauge. Uh, I kind of messed up, I should have ordered the, the Series 4 because it's a little bit more compact, but I ended up getting the Series 3. This is a surface mount unit and what it does is it measures the uh, air fuel ratio of your exhaust gases coming out of your engine so you can get a perfect tune whether it's fuel injection or carbureted. We are working with the carbureted setup and more importantly we are actually working on E85. So since we are working on E85 I do need to get this pretty dialed in. So I'm going to go ahead and start the installation. We're going to install it right here where my vacuum gauge is right now because I'm not going to be needing that because above that I'm going to be installing a boost gauge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dash apart and go ahead and surface mount this gauge and then see where my wires end up. All right, so I went ahead and took apart part of my dash assembly. So this is a little plate that I made a while ago when I was initially getting everything together. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a notch on this plate and I'm going to surface mount this. So this is going to be set up kind of like this. And then I'm going to make a notch about right here. And that's where I'm going to run these wires. I'm also going to uh, kind of bevel out the edge so that way the edge of the hole for the notch doesn't actually chafe any of these wires and I'm also going to put a little bit of protection so let's go ahead and get that going first All right, so I've got the white band mounted onto my dash. This is the notch that I was telling you guys about. I went ahead and I added some shrink wrap around it for protection. But as you can see, I didn't have any black electrical tape, so I had to deal with this green electrical tape. Uh, I guess it kind of goes with the truck, but not really. Later on, I am going to change it to something a little bit nicer. But for right now, at least to get it running so I can get this thing back on the road, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the wiring. The first set of wires I'm actually going to hook up are going to be the ones for the Wideband 02 sensor itself. Normally I would run them across the dash, go down the side and then into that hole right there, then run them back under it, jump over the transmission and go to the exhaust pipe that's right here on my driver's side. But I don't think these wires are going to extend that far, so I'm going to probably have to run them down here through the shifter hole. And then once they go through the shifter hole, I'm then just going to bypass it straight to the exhaust that's right here. The reason I can't put it in the passenger one is because the hole for the wideband in the passenger side is actually right up against the frame and there's no room for the sensor. So I'm going to have to do it with the one that's over here. So I've got the six wires that come off the gauge itself. From these six wires, I'm actually going to be wiring up only three. So the green, white, and brown ones, those actually belong to data logging, so we're going to ignore those ones. And the ones we're actually going to be wiring up are the two black ones, which will go to ground, and then the red one, which goes to switch power. I'm actually going to daisy chain all of my um, gauges into one, so they're all going to come off the same relay. And the two grounds, I already have a dedicated ground for all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and tie up the other three that I don't need and then wire up these three. All right, that took a while. I actually ran out of spots that had uh, fuses inside my fuse box, so I had to actually do a little bit of creative workarounds to actually get everything wired up. So let's actually, I've already got everything done, so let's try to actually get this thing started. Uh, okay, so we've got a CL. It must be like a calibration or a preheat. All of these uh, wideband O2 sensors and O2 sensors in general do have to get preheated before they actually start functioning. And as you can see, it says uh, 19.5, which means uh, lean, 
but in other words it also means that the engine is probably off so let's actually let's turn this on and there we go 13 13.4, 13.5, 12.8 What's really cool about this gauge is that, unlike a gauge like this one that kind of flutters because of the, L the LED screen, because this is a standard LCD display, it shows up perfectly on camera, which is actually really, really nice. And as you guys can see, uh, I'm happy to know that my idle is perfectly safe. So now the next step for me is to actually swap out the carburetor for an E85 carburetor and actually get some real tuning done. So so that's it for today. I want to thank Daytona Sensors for sending me out this module. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher out.